know, for years I, I've um, read articles on uh, planking of boats and the techniques that they uh, use to arrive at the bevels on the edges of the planks. And, uh, you know, I, I read just numbers and numbers of articles. And after I was all done scrutinizing everything I ever read about planking, I wasn't too happy with all the information I got. So I kind of set out to come up with a new method of getting the planking cut to the proper bevel so that uh, when we put the planks in place, they require very, very little fitting. And in my estimation, that was a very important thing because planking can take an awful considerable amount of time. And uh, I was looking for a method to cut that time down. And uh, I was running back and forth from the uh, shed that I was working into another shed and grabbing little bits and pieces of metal and putting it together. And uh, basically what I've built here is the first progressive beveling skill saw. And uh, I can saw along and change the bevel of the saw by, with this lever as I saw. So it saws progressive bevels. Now it's designed to follow along a batten when you push it. And then as you push it, you can pull this lever down as you saw. And what happens is it changes bevel. And on the top right here in front of my face, I've got a little readout up here. Uh, so I can tell what bevel it's on. That's on six and a half degrees, seven degrees, right? And then as I back up, five, four, three, two, one, zero. This particular saw has what they call a trunnion on it. And this trunnion guides the saw as it changes bevel. And uh, there's no pivot point exactly above the deck so that as it changes bevel, it does not change the distance between the blade and the edge of the table. So on any bevel, it's cut, and this particular saw cuts an inch and five sixteenths away from the edge of the table on any bevel. So this is the mechanism that tilts the saw, as we saw along the line right here. This was made very quickly. This is a piece of door hinge, a strap door hinge for like a, a fence or something. And this is a piece of key stock from some old dragger and a couple of bolts. And this is, acts like a little linkage rod between the two, and you can see that it, that it very simply pries the thing along in a nice neat progression. There's 5, 10, 15 degrees, 10, 5, 0. And now we're going to give you a little demonstration. This particular piece of wood here. Now, this thing is an inch and 7 eighths thick. This is a, a nice piece of white oak. And um, you would think it would be a little hard to cut, but it isn't. And we're gonna, we have a progression of, of degrees drawn on here. I've got zero degrees drawn here, one degree here, two, three, it goes down to seven. So as I go along reading the numbers, I'm gonna make this readout match the number that I see coming in front of me. And we're gonna do a progressive cut. And then what I'm gonna do is come along afterwards with a little bevel set and check the bevel at, right in front of this number and see if I get, actually get one degree and two degrees here and three degrees down here. So now I've got my index finger against this knob here and the heel of my hand against the lever and I'm applying a, a pressure between the two. It, it, it's a matter of coordinating the visual of seeing the numbers come along in front of you and then coordinating the readout on the saw to match with that number. So it takes a little bit of practice, but it really isn't very hard to do. In this particular cut, there's going to be a seven degree change in bevel in nine feet. That's considerably more than you'd ever run into plank in anything, but this we're going to do it anyhow. I'm just going to check here at the numbers where it says two degrees right here. I'm going to take a little bevel set and place it on the bench here and put it up. And I've got a little bevel set here and I've just set it on that bevel and now I'm going to put it on my protractor and see if it doesn't read two degrees and there it is two degrees here where it says four degrees I'll give her a little quick test right here with the bevel set and there it's set at, at that angle and I'm going to see whether or not that doesn't read exactly four degrees on the protractor and there it is four degrees it's a, the cut is exactly the same distance from the batten that we followed all the way along. Four degrees the same, and five. So it's maintaining an exact distance from the batten that I followed to the cut line. This saw has been used since 1993. I first planked the Litchfield Lady with this saw, and I, I, I honestly I saved them a massive amount of money because every plank on two layers was cut with this saw, and we were put on the boat with absolutely no fitting and perfectly tight glue lines. 
I've been using this same exact saw ever since. Now, I've got a number of other saws that operate very similar, but they've got different type of tilting arrangements and stuff. But this saw has been used many times. It's a tremendous money saver every time you pick it up and use it.